Hello friends from the internet. Welcome to Jamil Geral. I am Jamil Silva and today's episode is all about the viewer. In our last episode I was uh, explaining about the browser and maybe uh, you have noticed some uh, difference in here because in this episode I used Capture One Pro 10 and from now on I'm going to use Capture One Pro 11. And uh, still talking about our last episode, I think the, the, the most important uh, shortcut that you could learn from it is Ctrl B to hide the browser, Ctrl B to put it back, and Ctrl Alt V to have all the pictures in the grid mode and double click and select one. If you don't know much about shortcuts and if, if at least you know these two, you're gonna have much more maximization in using the program. So let's go and talk about the viewer. Well, the viewer is this middle part of the program where you have the picture selected. Here I have one picture selected, that's why it appears in here. Sometimes you, you can have more than one picture because in this way, if you have two pictures selected, for example, you're going to have more pictures in here. Here on the bottom of the view, you have what we call viewer label. Viewer label is where you find some basic information about your picture. For example, uh, color information, star information, everything you put here about the picture, you're gonna have here. This means that it was edited. Here you have its name and here's some information about uh, the picture. For me, I think this is very distracting, even because you have this information here in the browser. So for me, I think it's better not to have this information at all and not be distracted by it. Let's start taking this out of the viewer. You go to view. In the view, you have a part all dedicated to the viewer. And here you have viewer, hide viewer labels. And if you click here, now the labels are gone. They're not here anymore. Up here, you have what is called the viewer toolbar is where you, you're gonna have uh, tools that you're gonna use with the viewer. You can also take them out of here. If, if you don't want them here, you go to view, hide view toolbar, and it will be not here anymore. But uh, for me, I think that they are very important, so I would rather have them here. Uh, show viewer toolbars, okay. On the right of the picture, we have a face, and if you click on it, the picture will increase. And if you go to the other picture, If you press, it's gonna reduce your picture. You can also use your mouse and go up and down, increase and decrease the pictures. But as I like to use lots of shortcuts, I, I, I like to use shortcuts to, to make this even faster for me. So if I press Ctrl uh, plus, it will increase. If I press Ctrl minus, it will decrease. Ctrl plus and it will increase. If I press Ctrl zero, it will go back to fit mode. That's why I have a fit. Fit is when it, it's in the, the area of the viewer. And when you press more, 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 you can see here the percentage that is increased. So Ctrl zero, it will be reduced. If you press Ctrl out zero, you let it 100%. If you press again Ctrl zero, it will fit the viewer. In this toolbar you have this plus. This sign means that you're gonna add layers to the picture. Here you have background, it means this is the background, the main picture. If you click here, now you're gonna see that we have layer one. If you keep clicking, you will be adding layers to it. And if you click here, you're gonna see these shortcuts for all the layers you have in the picture. You can choose one layer, the third layer, the background again, and the layers will go here in the editing part details they are all here now let's take them out because i don't need them now okay the way the picture is here could be what we call a, a primary view the primary view was a, a an option that you used to be in the middle of these two buttons and you don't have this anymore now we have only two buttons the proof margin view and the multi view now let's talk about this proof margin the proof margin is when you have the picture selected if you selected more than one picture it will have just one here there are two pictures selected but this has this border around it so this is the picture that, that will appear here in the proof margin if you select the other one this is uh, there are two pictures selected i can see this information here in the browser but this is with this border around it is the one that will appear in here only one picture will appear in this mode you can also change the space around this picture you can change the border if you go to edit preferences appearance 
you have here proof margin and you can see that a movie in it it will it will enlarge and or or even reduce the margin around the picture in multi-view you can have multiple pictures that are here as long as they are selected as i have one picture selected in here will be just one in here if i select two pictures I will have two pictures selected now and they will appear here in the view because we have the multi view. If I press Ctrl A, now I will have all the pictures selected. And as I don't have space here for all of them, I will have an information here telling me that besides those pictures that are selected in this area, I still have 39 more that are selected. Now I will press Ctrl Shift A to deselect all the pictures and I'll click in the in one pictures to select this one. In this multi-view, you can also increase a small border around it. If you go to Edit, Preferences, Image, and here you have Margin. You can slightly enlarge it and if you want, but I think for margin, I would rather have all the, the area. For proof margin, I wouldn't mind to have this space, but, but for the proof margin, it's okay. You can also change the background color here in the view mode. Here is very dark. If you go again to View, uh, and preference. As I have preference in here, you, you go to color and if you go to black, now it's black on the black background. You can have uh, very dark, dark, medium, light and white. It's, you choose. It's, uh, we'll leave it in very dark. Okay. Something else it's uh, important to know about the view is this. If you go to window Viewer, you, still, you, you have here a shortcut if you use this a lot, maybe it's better use the shortcut. But if I press Viewer, I'm going to have a second viewer here. And I can use now this viewer in another screen. If I have two monitors, I just click and drag and it will go to another screen. And here is the same thing. You have the same tools that you want to use here. It's just if you want to have this in a separate screen. You can also press F11 to have the program in full mode and then it's, it's just a matter of pressing Ctrl T to hide one lab, Ctrl B to hide the other, Ctrl T, I, I will explain this in our next episode, but you can hide the, the other tabs very fast, press F11 again and you have here the viewer back. And this was the viewer. You can see it's very simple. Once you start getting familiar with the program, you will have a better performance in working with it. I already explained it, the browser and now the viewer. Now, I think you will be much more familiar and we use the program much better after knowing all this stuff. And this is it for now. I hope this episode has been very helpful for you. And I hope to see you in a future episode. Bye-bye.